Whether it's for peace of mind or maybe you're moving your website to a new space, backing up your website is a big deal. When it comes to big WordPress sites, getting a backup can sometimes be pretty tricky especially if you're doing it via FTP, because with those site files, it can take quite a long time. Thankfully, there's a much quicker and easier way to get a backup of your website if you have access via SSH. It does mean getting your hands a bit dirty, but honestly, for the peace of mind of knowing that you can get your site backup done very quickly, it's definitely worth the extra hassle of going into SSH. So to get started, what we need to do is get into the web space via SSH. Now, in this case, I'm going to be using a fast host WordPress package to do this. Now, if you're using either another type of package or you're with another provider, these same steps should work, but the process might be slightly different in terms of how you get into SSH and also what file space is available to you. So in this case, we're going to log into the file space via SSH. To do that, all we need to do is go to the WordPress area inside the control panel, find the package that you want to back up go into the web space area in the control panel and then grab the temporary SFTP and SSH credentials. These are the credentials you're going to use to log in. And to do that, we're actually going to log in using a client called Putty. Putty is free, it's pretty easy to use, and it's what we would recommend to use in terms of getting into SSH for pretty much anything. Grab the host name, put that in to the client, click connect, and then grab the username, put that in when it asks who you're logging in as, and then for the password, just grab that. In terms of putting in stuff like this, when you're copying and pasting into SSH, what you want to do is copy. If you're copying from Windows, copy as normal, you know, control C. But if you are pasting into SSH, then what you need to do is actually right click. And that will then paste that string in for you. Once that's done, you're into SSH. Now, the next step here is actually to find where you are and find where you want to actually back up. For the FASOS WordPress package, you will start off in the content area. So what we want to do here is basically get back up to the point where we can see the overall WordPress space. To do that, press CD dot dot. That will take us up a directory. We're now in that WordPress space. So what we want to do here is use the command PWD, which stands for print working directory. We want to basically get the file path for this place and we want to copy that and put it somewhere so that we have it for later. So once we type in PWD, you'll have that full string. Highlight that in the SSH terminal. That basically is you saying that you want to do something with that string. So you don't need to copy it or anything, just highlight it. And then I would open up a notepad in Windows and then Control V, that will paste in that string for you. And that's it, you have the working directory. So now we need to figure out where we want to actually put this archive. So when we run the command that we're going to run, it's going to put an archive where we currently are in SSH. So we want to be somewhere that we can actually get access to. For FASO's WordPress, the area we have access to is the content area. So what we want to do now is actually type in the command CD and then space WP hyphen content. That will put us into the space that we can actually get to. And that means that that file will then end up there. We can get to an FTP. So once you've navigated there, so CD space WP hyphen content, brilliant. Now we want to actually type in the command. Now I'm not just going to rattle off the command and not explain it to you. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll start typing in. So the first thing we want to type in is tar. So T-A-R. That is because we're going to tarball the directory that we want. So T-A-R, then space dash C. C stands for create an archive. Z. That actually stands for compress the archive with gzip, which is a compression type. V, this means you actually want to display the progress of your backup in the terminal. Not necessary, but I would still recommend you do that so you can see if it's going wrong or anything like that. And then F, which allows you to specify your file name, which is really important. So, so once you've done that, that's fine. Press space. Now you want to type in the name of what your archive. So what you're going to call this backup. I would call it something relevant to your site, something that means that you're not just going to lose it or you're going to forget what it is. So type that in and then end that archive name with dot tar, which is because we're tarballing dot gz. Done. Okay, brilliant. Now we just want the path to the file. We already took that a minute ago. So press space, go to your notepad that you opened earlier, copy out that string that was the file path to your WordPress space, put that in at the end of the command, press enter. That should now be taking a compressed archive of your site. You'll see it running through all the files. Depending on how much you got, it might be quick. It might take a little while, but it should now be doing that. Once that's done, fantastic. We now need to log into FTP 
into the same file space so that we can now download that archive to our computer. So open up your FTP terminal, whether that's FileZilla or whatever it is you use, I would recommend FileZilla. And again, I will leave a link in the description for both Putty and FileZilla. Open up FileZilla, grab the login credentials that we just used to get into SSH. So and you want the host name, put that into the host, username, username, password. The only bit that's different is that it asks for a port number. Normally you can leave that blank if you're just going into FTP. In this case, we're not, we're using SFTP. So you want to put in port 22. Just make sure you've got that in. Everything else is just the same details that we had. Click connect and you're in. If you're using FastHost WordPress, you will just come into the content area because that is the only place you have access to. Now, if you're using a different package or you're with another provider, you just want to make sure you know where you were when you did that compression. If you followed this guide and you're in the content area, navigate to that space. That should be pretty easy to find. It's, you know, it's in your WordPress area, WP content, and it should be there. But if you're using FastHost WordPress, then it should be pretty easy. It should be right there as you log in. And once you've got that, all you need to do is click on the compressed archive and drag it across. Once you drag it across, it will start downloading. I would recommend you drag it to someone like your documents. I wouldn't put in your downloads just because I know personally when I do something like that, if I put something in my downloads, I tend to clear out my downloads area fairly often. So I would recommend you put it somewhere that's not just going to get cleared out. So documents for me is normally where I put something like that. But yeah, put it in your documents area and then that's it. You are now downloading your compressed archive. This compressed archive can be opened in Windows fairly easily using something like 7-Zip um, and it will, that can open up the compression for you and you can have a look at the files and I would recommend you do that once you have the compressed archive on your computer. Make sure you've got everything. Make sure it matches up to what's on your file space at the moment. That's it. That should now be downloaded. It should be ready to go. If you want to put that back up to your file space and you want to uncompress that archive, I've put the command on how to do that below. I won't go into uncompressing in detail in this video because honestly, it's fairly straightforward. Um, the command below should be able to help you do that. If you run into any issues though, please let me know in the comments. I'm happy to make a video to show you how to uncompress as well, or I'm happy to point you in the right direction if you need it. So that should be it. You now have a fully compressed backup of your website on your computer. Again, I would recommend that everyone does this at some stage. If you've got a website, you need a backup. I would highly recommend you do not just leave it to fate. Most web hosts are really reliable you're not going to lose data, but you do not want to take the chance of something going wrong with your data, especially if, it, if you're making changes to your website or anything like that. Just make sure you have a full backup. Make sure you have a regular backup as well. There are plugins that do this for you, but knowing how to do this manually means you're not relying on these on software that might go out of date or might not be supported. This process isn't likely to change anytime soon. So knowing it now means you're pretty much protected for a long time. So I hope this helped. I hope this has been useful. Again, any questions you have, any issues, please leave them in the comments. I'm happy to take a look. And again, I hope this has helped and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.